Oh. Welcome to another live. We're doing chickpea and veggie meatloaf. <clears throat> I've got my big food crosser out. I've got an onion. Um, some baby carrots to equal about two. Uh, long carrots. And then tops of some celery to equal two stalks of celery. And we're just going to chop this. Oh, what? Okay. That's our veggie part. So now we're going to put in two cans of chickpeas, known as garbanzo beans, in. They had been drained, but I saved my water. That fava water. Because you can do wonderful things with it right here. So, we're going to put in a couple cloves worth of garlic. We like garlic, so I'm going to go a little bit more. Probably about four cloves worth minced. We're also going to put... Three tablespoons of some vegan Worcestershire sauce. Um, Annie's brand's good. And two tablespoons of uh, vegan soy sauce. Same brand, Annie's. Or if you have the mushroom-based soy sauce, that's what I used. Um, two tablespoons of olive oil and a teaspoon of liquid smoke. So all that goes in. Mm -hmm. Two tablespoons some tomato paste. A half a cup of non-dairy milk, or if you want to use milk, dairy milk, you can. A cup of oats. And a cup of panko breadcrumbs. You can use all panko or all oats or whatever mix match like I'm doing. We're going to put some pepper in here, about a fourth of a teaspoon. No salt because the Worcestershire sauce and the soy sauce is salty, but you can if you want to. I'm going to put some shakes of dried parsley. And then we're also going to put a couple shakes of some smoked paprika. Them two is optional. Alright, let's get the top back on this and more this up. Let me get a big rubber spatula. Thank you, Ray. Hi, Tracy. Lisa's having red beans and rice for dinner. Oh, that sounds good. <coughs> Sorry about the noise. That's all I edited it out. So let me look at this. Some of the chickpeas didn't get mashed. 
So there's that little bit that's still whole, which is wonder. I think it makes a wonderful texture. Mm -hmm. So yep. it's up to you what you want to do. So I'm going to get my little loaf pan. Take that off the thing. Get in here and kind of blend with the spatula. Making sure all the seasons, if I find my blade, take it out. Be careful when you're taking on your blade because it's extra sharp. Okay. So we're going to put this in a grease loaf pan. It's a standard loaf pan. This is going to be good. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping this is make uh, is a substitute for a regular meatloaf that we used to eat in the house. So we can make sandwiches with it. And eat it one night with, you know, sides and have sandwiches the next day. There's nothing like a meatloaf sandwich. Press it into the pan. Okay. And you pop yours whatever you want to. Um, you do your meatloaf. Some people do ketchup. Some do people do um, barbecue sauce. I'm going to dig in the fridge and see what I'm going to pull out. sauce. I'm using the sugar free that I have. And I'm just going to spread it and coat the top. Or you can leave it plain or sprinkle some cheese. That barbecue sauce is going to be really good on there. Okay. Stick that in the thing. Mm -hmm. Now it's going to go in the oven. 375 degrees. We're going to make, bake it till it's done. I'm going to try it at 30 minutes. We might have to go more. So I'll come back. When it's all finished, I'll fix you a plate and show you what it looks like. Come on back, everybody, for part two later.